you know, I had to make a video about this because this has been going on throughout my mind. For the last couple of days now, ever since this has been released, apparently we got a new wrestling company coming out called AW Oily Wrestling. Now, I'm going to give y'all my thoughts on this and I'm going to give y'all my feedback and all that good stuff and etc. Now, we already know who's running this. Of course, we got Cody Rhodes. We got the Young Bucks. Chris Jericho was there. He's going to be a part of this. That's going to boost up. That That's going to boost the hell out of like people that's going to tune in and watch this and the merch that's going to sell and it's going to you know, make people want to be interested in this company, such as wrestlers that are free agents and so on. Now, my thought that went on to this after hearing this, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep my, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. When I heard of this, I was like, for the love of God, I am thankful that this has happened because why do y'all like it or not, or why do y'all know it or not? This just changed the whole landscape, and this literally is gonna like change the wrestling industry for the better. Considering the fact that WWE has been uh, at a shithole lately, and I'm gonna be honest, man, WWE has just been boring to me lately, man. I haven't really been watching the shows lately. I haven't been tuning into it. Now, does this mean that I'm backing down and turning my back on WWE? Absolutely not. I just want to see WWE get better because at this moment, man, WWE, they got some shitty writers, shitty storylines. They always bury wrestlers that we want to see do good, and they just don't know what's best for business, especially since Vince is there. Oh, God. Vince McMahon needs to just retire already. Maybe give the whole company to, to you know, to Triple H. Let him take charge because God. WWE, especially Monday Night Raw, has just been on the all right low when it comes to ratings. But anyway, that's besides the point. Point is, AEW, I think, is going to do fantastic. Can't wait to see this product come out. I can't wait to see what matches are going to be in store. And I just cannot wait to see what TV deals they're going to have, how the title is going to look like, how the wrestle, like the, the roster is going to look like. Now, they've already named some of the rosters that are going to be in here. I don't know all of them, but I can guarantee you, you're going to see a lot of, you know, you're going to see Young Bucks, you're going to see Adam Hangman Page, you're going to see Cody. I hope Kenny Omega's there. There's no speculation yet if he's going to join or not, but I guarantee you he will. Um, and you might see a lot of, like, wrestlers in here that are not getting treated well by WWE. And I, and I couldn't even feel, you know, The Revival, Jenna Mahal, Descension, list goes on. They're not being treated fairly over there, so I say, you know what? All the wrestlers who are not being treated good, like talent-wise, why don't you just go to All Elite Wrestling, man? Pack your bags and just go to All Elite Wrestling because they are looking for talent. They are looking for superstars. That are getting thrown on the shuffle who are free agents. And they are just looking for superstars who can hold it down on this show. Now, this right here I think is going to be great. I would love to see what this product is going to bring to the wrestling industry. Can't wait for it, man. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Because honestly... I think all elite wrestling is going to succeed, especially since they're going to have TV deals and stuff. This right here is the best thing that has ever happened. Considering the fact that WWE is just, uh, it, it, it's just not watchable anymore, at least in my opinion. 